Now, Europe is grappling with Russia's gas supply cuts, adding further to its woes. Russian energy giant Gazprom has cut off its gas supplies to Germany via the Nord Stream 1 pipeline, citing maintenance work. A move that has further raised tensions in an already taut electricity market. The gas supplier has said that the three-day works three-day work at the compressor station, it's necessary, adding that this needs to be carried out after every thousand hours of operation. However, Germany, heavily dependent on Russian gas, has called it a technically incomprehensible decision and warned against Russia allegedly wielding energy supplies as a threat. Blaming the West for disruptions, Gazprom said that the sanctions imposed by Western capitals against Russia do not allow for normal maintenance and repair work. Amidst the gas crisis, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen called out Moscow, saying that the electricity market was no longer functioning because there is one actor, Russia, that is systematically trying to destroy it and to manipulate it. The EU chief's remarks came one day after Baltic Sea Energy Security Summit that concluded in Copenhagen on Tuesday. Meanwhile, seven Baltic Sea countries, Finland, Sweden, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland and Denmark, announced a seven-fold increase of wind power production by 2030 in Northern Europe. In a bid to, of course, free the region from its dependence on Russian natural gas. Now, for more on this, we're being joined by Sarah Kotz from Paris. Thank you so much for joining us, Sarah. Russians, uh, Russia halting as supplies, citing maintenance work. It's particularly alarming at a time when there is, of course, the looming threat of Moscow cutting supplies completely as winter approaches. What can you tell us? Yes, good afternoon. Well, this is certainly not the news Europeans wanted to wake up to this morning. Uh, as we know, as you just mentioned, uh, the gas supply from this Russian energy giant Gazprom has been switched off through the Nord Stream uh, pipeline there. Uh, although tomorrow here in Paris uh, was supposed to be the day that it was switched off uh, to France uh, with the Gazprom citing contractual uh, disagreements with Paris. Uh, currently, France is sitting at around 90% of its uh, storage that it needs, it's saying it needs to be 100% by the 1st of October to get through the winter. Now, we do know that uh, President Emmanuel Macron, he's holding a meeting uh, with his top ministers and the Prime Minister, mm -hmm. uh, Bourne, coming up this Friday to sort of hash out some uh, other sort of measures uh, which may include having to ration uh, gas, ration right. energy to get through the winter. They are now calling on people here in France to, you know, really use their energy wisely to avoid that situation. Absolutely. In fact, I was just going to ask you about that increase in energy bills, rationing, as you mentioned, have been brought in as immediate measures. What can you tell us of the impact of the same on common households? Yeah, so right now, uh, France is working to get a number of its aging nuclear react uh, reactors rather back online in time for winter. Of course, this will be a mammoth task. Most of them, as I mentioned, are very old. Also, there's a mothballed uh, uh, rather coal-fired power plant, which uh, they're looking at bringing online to get these households uh, more energy coming up. And, you know, min ministers here are really hoping that it won't be a particularly cold winter ahead, although they are confident uh, currently that they may be able to get up to 100 percent by October right. 1st. Right. Now, also, when we talk about measures such as wind power, most of the plans that have been brought in to reduce dependency on Russian gas, they're not going to yield any significant results in the short to medium term. What alternatives then does the bloc have? Yeah, well, look, you know, this really does highlight the dependence uh, of Europe on Russian gas. And currently, you know, uh, in Brussels, they are talking about other measures uh, for the long term, you know, even more green measures uh, to really cut back on this reliance on Russian gas. You know, with so much money spent on this, you know, over the last few decades. So currently, you know, European uh, leaders are looking at alternative ways to be able to supply these Euro European countries uh, with the gas that is needed. All right. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast with all the updates. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.